So a great, great day indeed for Irish rowing and confirmation of the final placings. France get the gold. Gary O'Donovan and Paul O'Donovan the silver and Norway take the bronze. What a day. What a day indeed. And to quote Neville Maxwell, we can put fourth place in the bin now. There may have been an adjective in there as well. Neville, I think you're more exhausted than Paul and Gary are. I couldn't watch it. Um, I'm so happy. It's, um, wow, <laughs> 20 years we've been waiting for this. Um, sorry. <laughs> Okay. But they have uh, finally, finally broken the, the duck in terms of the Olympic Games. We've been winning world medals for 20 years, um, and at last we've got that Olympic medal. They were brilliant, and um, they did it exactly like they talked about it. Um, we are, I'm just so proud of them. I'm just so excited for them. Fourth place, let's stop talking about it. It's in the bin, it's forgotten about. Now we have rowers that are winning Olympic medals. Um, it's taken us to another level. Um, just, you, you're just uh, showing how big, we talked about how big a deal it is for Owen, but you are here personifying exactly what it means to all these people who put in so much time and how close you've come, but this is how significant this is. Yeah, look, believe it or not, it's an amateur sport. <laughs> There's, um, the guys were doing exams, uh, sending in reports for college back in March. You know, so but they train hard, um, and this is such a brilliant reward for them. It's a brilliant reward for their coach, Dominic Casey, um, for all the rowers that have gone to world championships or won medals or nearly got them. This is this is an inspiration. It's it's we're all so excited. This is I'm so excited. This is brilliant. Uh, so happy for them. Well, if you Neville know. if Neville requires a bit of a tissue, I wonder. <laughs> What they're like down in Skibbereen. <laughs> <laughs>